It's been way too long since we've installed something new on my M5 and today that's about to change because we're installing a set of WeatherTech floor mats because my car, as you've seen from the previous video, has been very neglected. And two, I'm installing a set of Heritage puddle lights. And this is the set that I purchased from WeatherTech. You do pay a premium if you want to go with that brand. There are many other brands that you can get on Amazon. I'm actually going to link them down in the description in case you're, you're interested. Uh, but I went with the WeatherTech because I have good experience with the brand uh, for, my, uh, for my other vehicles. So I, I couldn't say no. And two, I went with these uh, puddle lights. These are also the, uh, the OEM puddle lights. Yes, you can get these aftermarket. Yes, you can get them with the non heritage design. But I went with this just to match everything. Let's start with the trunk. Out with the old. And in with the new, and here we go. This is an almost perfect fit. I say almost because there's a little crease over here. I can't get it out, but that's okay. For the most part, this aligns with all the edges, the little cutouts here for the hooks that I have. And this will help me keep the trunk dry for my snowboarding trips. The OEM front mats are attached with these Velcros. Now to install the WeatherTech mats, you have to twist these left, pop them out, then install these guys. And that'll keep the new mats in place to install the new ones. Hook. Oh yeah. So here's a bit of honest feedback, something that I did not expect from WeatherTech. Well, check this out. This is the design and imagine this being the winter, you walk into the car with your boots wet. Obviously the snow melts here, so everything goes down here. You see this lip here, this edge? There's very little protection here, so a lot of the water melting from your shoes would be dripping here into the carpet, into the bottom of this pedal. Now, there are no electronics here, so nothing to worry about, but eventually all this carpet here would be soaked. So in my mind, this defeats the whole purpose of having a floor mat like this. So you know what? We have to get these out. Let's pop the hooks out, put back the OEM ones, and install a set of regular 5 Series floor mats because See, this is what I'm talking about. These, even though they don't look as good as uh, the WeatherTech ones, look at the protection here. Again, same situation. Your boot is wet, you go down here, see? None of the water goes into the carpet, it goes this way and it settles here. So this piece here is the reason why, in my mind, WeatherTech floor mats are a massive failure for the BMW. Stick with OEM or stick with something aftermarket that I'm going to link down in the description of this video. Same thing with the passenger side. We'll stick with OEM so much better. Now in the back, I think I am going to use the WeatherTech ones only because they will cover up this tunnel because my kids like to step on this tunnel. It's currently uncovered, so that's the only reason. I suspect the OEM ones still do fit a little better, but let's take these out and throw this in. So there you go, this looks a lot better, but a funny story. You also need hooks in the back, but WeatherTech only sends you two hooks for the front. They somehow skip the back. Another failure. Let's hope the puddle lights work out better for us. So why do I bother with these puddle lights? Well, when I pull up to a club late at night and I open the door, I don't want people seeing just regular boring yellow lights. I want people to see the fact that I drive a BMW and this will remind them that I do indeed drive a BMW. I'm just kidding, I really like the way they look. Installing them is super simple. Open the door, identify the light, and then use a trim tool to pop it out. Disconnect it, plug the new one in, but before we do so, make sure it is aligned. So you can actually twist the inside to align the logo the way you want it to be aligned. Plug it in and push it back in. Yay! Same thing in the back. Yay! So I hope today's video demonstrated the fact that sometimes when you get a product from the most reputable brand, you will not always get the best results. Just like today uh, from WeatherTech, the trunk mat doesn't fit well, the driver's side mat has a terrible design, the rear uh, design has clips that are missing. Uh, so I would actually stay away from the product and I would use some of the other products, which I'm going to link in the description for you, some of the other recommended ones. Now I know what to look for. So before selecting those products for you, I'm going to make sure it's got the right design. But anyways, I hope at least I saved myself with these heritage badges. I've got to say, at night they look absolutely terrific. I love opening the door and seeing uh, that cool uh, uh, triple color design. It, it just, it gets me all the time. I know it's cheesy, some people find it cheesy, but I find it uh, to be interesting. Uh, anyways, thank you very much for watching this short video and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.